Hi, so in this video, we're going to look at the mean and variance of a Poisson distribution. So if we say that x is distributed the Poisson distribution of average lambda, we know that lambda is the mean of a distribution, which is also the expected value. So these are the same thing. Now for a Poisson distribution, the variance of x is the same as the average, okay? So the variance and the mean are approximately equal to each other. And given that the variance of x equals lambda, this is a good indicator of whether a Poisson distribution is a suitable model for the situation, okay? So if we look at example one, we're told that a gardener decides to investigate the number of weeds in his garden. He divides his garden into 80 equal sized squares and counts the number of weeds in each square. The summary statistics are shown. So the sum of x is 296, and the sum of x squared is 1385. And we've been asked to calculate the mean and variance of the number of weeds per square for the 80 squares, okay? So we can begin with the expected value, which is the average, and this is the sum of the data so the sum of x divided by the sample size, which is n. Now we're told in the question, the sum of x is 296. And the sample size is 80. And this becomes 3.7. So this is lambda. Okay, so now for the variance, the variance of x, we know from our previous lessons, it's the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x all squared. We can work out this bit using the sum of x squared over n. And we've already worked out the expected value of x at 3.7. So 3.7 squared. And this becomes 1385 divided by 80 minus 3.7 squared. And when we work this out, we get 3.6225. So we can see that the variance is approximately equal to the expected value. So for part B, state whether a Poisson distribution would be a suitable model for this data. We can say that a Poisson would be a good model because the expected value is approximately equal to the variance. Okay, so for part C, we're asked to estimate the probability that more than three weeds will be found in a randomly selected square. So because we can use a Poisson distribution, we can say that X is distributed with a Poisson of average 3.7. We need to define X as our random variable. So I've said, let X be the random variable, the number of weeds per square. So now we can say the probability of x being more than 3, so greater than 3. And this will be 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. We can work this bit out using the cumulative distribution function on our calculators, and we get 1 minus 0 0.4941, which gives us a 50.58% chance. So 50.58% chance, okay? Let's move on to question two. So for question two, we've been told that the random variable X is distributed with a Poisson distribution of lambda average 16. And we've been asked to work out sigma. Now sigma is the standard deviation. And if you remember from S1, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Okay, and we'll put x here. Okay, so we need to work out the variance of x. But the variance of x for a Poisson distribution is the same as the expected value, or lambda. So the variance of x, we're told, is the same as lambda, which is 16. So now the standard deviation will be the square root of 16, which is 4. So for part B, we can say the probability of mu, which is the average lambda, so 16 minus the standard deviation 4, 
but less than mu 16 plus 4. So the probability of x being between 12 and equal to 12, but less than 20. Okay, so we can work out the community of probabilities here. So if it must be less than 20, that would be all of these. So from 18, so from 19 to zero. But it has to be no less than 12. So we need to take away all of these. Okay. So this will be the probability of X being less than or equal to 19 minus the probability of X being less than or equal to 11. We can work these out using a community distribution on our calculators. So X being less than or equal to 19, then this would be 0.8122 minus 0.1270. And this comes out as 0.6852. Okay? So for our last question, question three, the number of baskets in a basketball match follows a Poisson distribution where the mean number of baskets is 47. Find the probability that the number of baskets in a particular match exceeds the mean by at least one standard deviation. So we can write our distribution where x is distributed with a Poisson 47, where x is the random variable, the number of baskets scored in a match. So the probability that x is greater than the mean of 47 plus sigma, okay? So we can work out sigma as the square root of a variance, which is the square root of 47, so approximately 6.86. So this would be 47 plus 6.86, which gives us x is greater than 53.86. But this is a discrete random variable, so we have to look at the probability of x being greater than or equal to 54. And to use the community distribution, this will be 1 minus the probability of x being less than or equal to 53. So we can work this one out as 1 minus 0.8293, which gives us a final probability of 0.170. Seven. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching, and you can download the full lesson on worksheet on my website, mrmathematics.com.